Welcome to Growing Fruition Podcast. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click like, click subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified, and help us out with the algorithm. So today we are diving into Acts of the Apostles. Um, this is a great book for anybody that is new to faith, or even if you are a seasoned in your walk, in your spiritual walk, walking in the spirit. Um, basically, you have a story of Jesus when he died on the cross for our sins. He ascended into heaven to sit at the right hand of throne of the Father. And when he came back down to visit his apostles, um, his friends that he traveled throughout the lands with and performed miracles alongside with and pretty much lived his life with that, that he chose and then they also chose to follow him. Um, he came back to visit them and, you know, throughout their different personalities and different authors in the, the New Testament, whether it be, you know, Luke or Matthew, um, it, it tells us that he showed up and he actually showed his friends the holes in his hands where they drove giant nails through and his ankles and his rib. And when he revisited, there was a thing called the Holy Spirit that he caused everybody to encounter and to experience. And what the Holy Spirit is, is it is the Spirit of God. It's the Spirit of truth. Um, it allows you to do things that you are unable to do without it. Um, one of the most common features of someone that has the Holy Spirit, especially when Jesus places it upon them or allows it to happen in a circumstance, is they will start speaking in tongues. Um, I think a new modern representation of what that might mean would be um, maybe not necessarily someone speaking an entirely different language as accurately as possible, though that is an example that happened in Acts of the Apostles. Um, maybe it's just a direct communication to the source, um, and it sounds something that's other than English or whoever's mother tongue it might have been. But long story short, the Holy Spirit visited these apostles and the book of Acts is predominantly centered around Paul. Now, Paul, as some of you may know, he is a person that was raised as a Pharisee, which is pretty much the most ridiculously organized um, to the book, to the point law of religion that there was. And it came from Moses. So Moses was a prophet that God selected to come out of Egypt and God's people Israel were enslaved and captured in Egypt and we'll go into that a different time but basically what happened is all of the Pharisees took the laws that Moses received from God and throughout the ages throughout the generations hundreds and hundreds of years up until the point that Jesus actually was born and walked the earth um, these Pharisees were hardcore praying and took everything in the law of Moses as absolute fact and it kind of waxed their hearts cold and that's the whole premonition of uh, what Jesus came down to display and to teach that it's not all about the law guys it's about what is in the heart it's about how you treat people it's about um, having faith in God not necessarily doing every single thing to the book in order to please God um, so when when Paul was growing up, he was actually the 10% of the 10% as far as the Pharisees were concerned. He was um, a top performer, if you will, for being well-learned of that law and also um, being extremely enthusiastic in enforcing that law. So he was actually out there killing Christians, um, advocating for Christians to be persecuted, um, stoning Christians, anybody that had anything to do with Jesus or preaching what Jesus had done and continued to do, Paul would go out of his way and quite excellently uh, stop that from happening in a very violent way, in a very ruthless way. So Paul, he actually was walking down a dirt path. This is a very popular story in the Bible. Um, he was riding some type of donkey or a camel or something and he was with a couple of other people and Jesus basically spoke to him and said, "Hey." Um, I know who you are and I want you to follow me 
and here's proof enough for you that I'm even talking to you in the first place and actually made Paul go blind after that conversation. You know, a light came down from heaven and it was just this big moment for him. It was undeniable. Back in those days, they didn't have CGI. They weren't able to watch movies. Um, when something supernatural happened, it was a once in a lifetime kind of thing. And there was no uh, if, ands, or, about it, or buts about it. So Paul had that experience, became blind. Um, and basically what happened is, uh, the Lord sent a messenger to Paul back when he got put up and kind of put in this room to restore his eyesight. And I'm, I'm going through this kind of quick. You guys can obviously read along. This is Acts. But Paul then, he dedicates his life to Christ. He's like, okay, I know you're real. Like, let's get this done. I've always been on fire about something that I believe in. So let's go ahead and center this around you. This is, is the realest experience I've had, you know. I've grown up with these laws and I've grown up with this life, but this is a real experience. And there's something to be said about that too. Every Christian knows about that. Um, so Paul sets out and he just goes on a rampage in the complete opposite way, 180 degrees. He tells every single person he possibly can about the Messiah. Um, Jesus' name in the Bible is Yeshua and God's name is in the Bible is like four or five or nine or ten different names. Um, Yahuwah, Elohim, um, Yahweh. So if you hear me use these different words, it's all the same thing. The Messiah, meaning Jesus, as all of you know, and um, God or the Lord or the creator of the universe or the one true living God. Um, he's got a bunch of names. So Th that's all biblical, by the way. You can get it right out of the, the Bible, which, by the way, this is the Bible that I read right here. It is a New Living Translation, just because that's the best way I can get through the meat and potatoes of it the quickest. You know, with us being in 2022, it's a bit different. So um, anything to help me kind of gurgitate it in a way that's familiar. But anyways, so Paul goes throughout the lands and he starts these churches and he's converting people and he's talking to them and he's walking in the spirit and the and, and Jesus is uh, sponsoring everything by, you know, unleashing the Holy Spirit on these communities. These communities are growing. Everybody's selling their belongings. Everyone's using the same resources together. Everything's being provided for. There's immense joy. People are appointed as, you know, um, elders or people to handle some type of conflicts or just to organize things. And everything is being super cohesive. And Jesus' presence in all of this is extremely um, malleable. It's very visible. So um, Paul goes out from land to land to land. I mean, if we're talking about the Middle East map, this is east of the Mediterranean Sea. And um, you're, you're right in there, the 12 tribes of Israel. And he's just going all throughout the land, sea bearing, he's on ships, all through Acts of the Apostles, he's on trips, he's going and walking, he is, you know, being delivered and all sorts of different things. So um, if you guys want to learn more about Acts, um, go ahead and make a comment in the description. Um, I can get way more detailed and we can spend way more time on Acts or... Um, we can cover a lot of different topics in a broad way like this, but basically I just wanted to um, give you guys a little bit of a passenger seat journey with me as I am going through all of these different scriptures and um, basically Tyler, Tylerizing it. So I am able to read these things for their truths and the Lord is able to, you know, plant in me what it means and I am able to use the gift that God gave me in language and communication and try and explain it in a new and a fresh way. So that's exactly what this podcast is. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, you can see Growing Fruition has multiple platforms you guys can support. Just give our Instagram a follow at Growing Fruition. Everything's the same name. Everything is spelled the way it sounds and it looks. Uh, YouTube, that's where all of these podcasts are going to drop. And also our Facebook that is linked with the Instagram. So you can get updates from there, um, cliff notes, and just watch these videos. And if nothing else, guys, just learn a little bit as you go. Um, life is a roller coaster. A lot of you guys seeing this might be freaking out. You know, what is he doing? I partied with him or this and that. Um, I'm just here to tell you guys that my relationship with God is developing and it's what I'm choosing to focus in my life. And going forward, you guys are going to get a lot more of this. So I'm excited. Um, to give you everything that I've got along my journey and my journey continues to grow 
and go each and every day. Um, one thing that I can tell you is start while you're young. Start now. Swallow the pride. Guys out there my age, people that I graduated high school with, people that I partied in college with, um, start as soon as you can. Uh, it's life-changing. That's totally undeniable. Um, anybody that has a testimony about what God has done for them in their life, pay close attention because there's power in prayer and there's power in that movement. And that's a real thing. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, episodes coming at the minimum every week, but I'm going to try and make episodes every day or two or every other day. And like I said, comment, please. Get involved. Let me know. Make fun of me a little bit. Like the video. Helps the algorithm. Gets it out there. And subscribe so that I can do live streams because this is what this is all set up for is a live stream. Um, until next time, guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support, and I'm excited to see where this journey takes us. As always, grow in your fruits, and God bless you all. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow.